Hello and welcome back. Now I didn't expect to be on Greenlands quite so quickly until I was watching back the last episode and I thought you don't yet see the problem that you have caused in doing what you've done. Yes, I have. I have. Now we did go on a bit of a spending spree. Now there's no harm in that, absolutely not. But it is September. And right, let's let's actually do something about this though. We do need somebody with who is gonna be that. Let's take the new tractor. Because it is powerful enough weight wise, this is quite a heavy tractor. Uh, which is a good thing. Right, let's yeah, let's take this. I will show you what I mean. We should get this ready also for fertilizing. We shall use this one. Being as we're going over there. Should we yeah, we should fertilise first, because if push came to shove, yeah, we have got, oh, I have got us into a bit of a, a bit of a dilemma, I really have. I will share, I will, I saw this. We are down to 15,772, now it's 9 o'clock in the morning, we have 24 hours. Now I, I'm going to repair the cockling, but I'm not going to do so now, because we are in a quandary that I, even I haven't realised I'm in yet. Now then, have I got narrows on this? Or are we? I would imagine we haven't. In which case I'm not using this one because I'm not... Oh, no, no, yeah, no, you're right, that's not going to make any difference it isn't. So what have you got? Standards. Now, I'm not going to spend a grand. We shall be using another tractor. Wow, he says as he crashes straight to the gate. I thought I said I'd got used to this. Yeah, well, that was yesterday. That was. Now, I'm in a bit of a tizzy now, because, yeah, I have done. This is sort of silly, what I have done, and I didn't realise until I started to think about the consequences of my actions. Yes, I know I'm talking in riddles, and I am doing so on purpose. So I have truly made a gargantuan mistake. Hopefully, because we are earning so well, we will rectify that. One thing I'm going to quickly do is we are nearly out of sugar. So I'm going to only put six, six and six. We have obviously, that did help us enormously and we are going to do so again. So whereas instead of just worrying about doing six, six and six, let's just stick. Mind you, no, it is actually processing is better if you do it in small amounts. So we're going to put a little bit more though, because I want this to carry on through the winter. We've got quite oh, an ounce of wood. How much flour have we got in that production? That is the truth. Flour. So we've got 45 tons of flour, so we've got plenty of flour. It's sugar, we sure are. And of course, yeah, that is true though, we don't want to be going too poor. I'm sure that's going to cost us a lot as well. Now, is it one of these that's cheaper? Sugar beet is not too expensive. Right, that'll do. Let's stick that. Yeah, and the sugar beets is part of the problem. Yeah, not this sugar beet. But the field of sugar beet that is ready on October or November morning. Now, it looks to me, I think I said this last session, that it is the dark green, which means tomorrow morning all hell is going to break loose because we have very little money and unless I'm mistaken hiring a sugar beet harvester is not something that you can do lightly nor can we afford to buy one so yes we are in rather a quandary so that's the sugar bit sorted out we will leave that for now that is one problem whoa will you calm down yeah it's one problem sorted right let's quickly go and sort yeah if we if we have to sacrifice liming now it's the cheapest I'm thinking it's more about time now we've got a damage repair now that hasn't and neither no, I'm not sure if the RX 170 has because this is not a bad tractor actually yeah let's just yeah there shouldn't be a lot that is true Let's go and check. I can't remember. If it's not got narrows, I think the McCormick and the 175 have both got narrows. Now, unfortunately, they're two of the lightest tractors we've got. 
reports. We shall see. I can't remember if this actually has got narrows. No, I did think that. No, so that hasn't, has not got narrows at all. So that is not our saving grace. So, let's leave you and go and get one of the others. I'd prefer the McCormick because it's heavier of the two, but there is not a lot in it. The McCormick still is a powerhouse, but it's not the heaviest. But yeah, I think of the two, this is the heaviest. So, let's take this. I know we had narrows on this. We did stick them on, I remember. I think it was for spraying two or three sessions ago. Yeah, so I'm hoping, I, I think it will be October, we, that we can just about lease a harvester tomorrow morning and header for the sugar beets. I suppose, I'm thinking about it, yeah, there is a way out of this. I did always say this. Yeah, I did, it was, yeah. Uh, now have we... I can't remember. Yes, I did. I thought I had. Right, that does look decidedly mucky. It's no excuse. But now, the one good thing is we do have fertiliser plenty across the road in the field that I've been... Yeah, I've seen, I've seen that myself many times. So we don't at least need to spend a fortune on that. Right, let's go and get our contraption with its narrows on, specially made for this job. At least that's one thing we can do. Right, so... Contraption. Including the... Yeah, let's go. Oh, I have already got that one ready, actually. With lime. So, do you know something? We should get the one we prepared earlier. Sounds like a cooking program. Do you know? Yeah, I was looking in Edison and the penny dropped and I thought... Do you realise that your spending spree has not only left you in debt, but also in rather a precarious place? Let's have a quick look. Let's see how much either more debt we need to get into or... Right, so we want Beats technology. Now then. And if I have to go for the cheapest, then I understand totally. So I remember rightly, it's the top, the, isn't it the Rexa with a fixed header that comes with a header? I, <laughs> I know we don't have enough money. I know. I would like to see how much though. I do wish. Right, okay, it's tough. Yeah, it is. Right. Let's go and grab this. At least we can rectify one issue. That is one thing in our control. We can at least go do that. And I do realise I'll have the gate across the road open. We shall rectify that when we come back across. Back out. We shall. Now. Let's sort this out. Shall we do it ourselves? To save on funds. Do you know that's not a bad idea? I do like it. No, is that it? Was that it? Oh my life, please don't tell me they're all little tiddlers. <laughs> That's, that would be just about typical at the minute, thinking thinking that you could have done really well when they're all little tiny, couple of hundreds. Oh dear. Oh. Right, okay. Now, have we got any in store? That is the point, actually. It is a good point. Have we got salt seeds? And... Further down. Solid fertiliser, six tonnes, so at least... Right, over on the side left, let's go grab it. Remember you gates. Yes, I agree. Does 
doesn't matter if we straddle. To begin with, we have the right to come out of our field. So we can show this. That is, I'm sure, what farmers would do in a situation like this. Right. So six tons should be. To be honest, I would imagine we don't need the back. Oh, it's a big field, though. I'd sooner go wheat prepared than a wood not to. I really would. This is managing this quite nicely, actually. Yeah, so I'm on here. I should really be on Rombos, but I thought, you know, I'd like to see how this pans out. Whether I can rectify my error and whiz through till tomorrow. We should, in, it, in all honesty, now, I would imagine we're earning. I think standard tick ups from the energy business are about 8,000 an hour. Uh, do you know, I just thought that is true. I am correct. And I've been saying that we've got a year's worth of 2,400 times is 24 grand, 26, 28, 28,800. So do you know something? Let's do that. It's not cheating. We do know. I've been talking about this for ages. We'll take the low side of the average. 28,800. Brilliant. So that is the, the money that we're being falsely... Why have I come this way? Falsely taken from our bank account for the old BGA that we literally, yes, had for a very brief span. And it's charged us 2,400, which, yeah, we've got fantastic solar panels. And every single month we get that. Taking money off us for, yeah, something it shouldn't be doing. So that was, that is us rectifying that problem. being so patient, this tracks coming through. Yeah, so that's looking a little bit healthier. Can we afford a harvest and a header? That is the question. I do like this uh, pull across. It's quite very generous. And I also like the double gates. doesn't matter about shutting the gates. <gasps> that has got narrows on. Why is that? That has got narrows. Whoa. That, we deliberately bought that with narrows. So why is that unless... No, I haven't changed anything. Oh, do you know? Oh well, okay. <sighs> That's annoying. Oak, great job. Field. A new one, which I do believe we have actually got. Which, what is the number of that? 53. Open generator, two headlands. I think max. Generate. Yeah, that is nice. 53. Save, activate, 42 meter. And I thought we were doing this ourselves. Do you know, we are, I'm sorry cars, it, it, yeah, I haven't got time right now. Right, am I going to time lapse this? Do you know, I think that's not a bad idea, because it is a far, pretty much of a monster of a field. It is. Right, so I'm going to say my words. We are just, ju yeah, I am going to forgo the liming. I know we're going to take a bit of a hit, but it's, it is a bit, yeah. So I am going to say my words. I'm going to see you guys and gals on the other side.
There we were doing. Now that is a funny bit. Sugar bee is one of those plants that actually really does hurt your eyes a little. It does. Let's see how that looks. Now yeah, I do realise it just... That's actually perfect, I believe. It is. pH is okay, so although it is... Ah, crop rotation 120%. Fallow, fallow. I don't quite get the crop rotation mod yet. We are going to check that I am right though, because that, that to me is a little bit annoying because we deliberately bought that trailer and deliberately put narrows on them deliberately so that that type of thing was not going to happen right. no 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 not reversing onto the car let them go yeah that long line that you've held up we shall reverse out which technically is illegal technically but I can't see any other way of us not yeah just make sure none of these cars is an undercover policeman just uh, trying to uh, yeah right let's uh, I always never ceases to amaze me how amazing the, the textures are really is absolutely amazing. I do, there is another thing I'm going to say though, I do, I have got to try to work on zooming in a little better. Yeah, in a lot of my edits I realise I am like a tiny little ant. I am. Obviously fertilising is different, but I, yeah, I've got to get better at zooming in a bit better to give you guys and girls a better view of the equipment. It is, it's, yeah. Definitely. Right, so actually we didn't need anywhere near what we thought, what I thought, but I just want to check this on camera, because I am sure, unless, did when we, oh, sometimes it resets it when we repair though, doesn't it, oh, let's just check this, because they need to be on narrows, so that was the entire reason I bought that trailer, because I put narrows on it, right, let's just check, now, does that not say narrow ties 3, or does that not say narrow ties 3? So why is that sugar beet field reading those narrows on that as not narrow? Hey, that's what I want to know. Yes. That's, that, that to me is a tad annoying. Yeah, I had all the confidence of a person who knows he's right, and suffered suffered loss because of it right, let's, let's anyway let's not play the aggrieved person yes that reminds me of my mistake yesterday oh, I was gutted at that it was me thinking let's save time and I should have just left the original worker to do what they had to do right I know, I'm happy with that. Right, so now let's do that again. This time there should be enough room. I'm trying to be good, I am. Smashing. And through. See, I am annoyed about that. Now, I'm sure we did one field, not sugar beet, and it was absolutely fine with it. We have done a field, unless we were fortunate and it was first growth stage, but I, I'm sure it wasn't, so that is very, very strange. Yes, that's rather upset me a little because yeah to know that we did actually do it correctly now I think if I remember right that this grass is also ready next month but I no that's true we, actually I do think for once of all the things we've got we've got a lot of grass already in to be done and with having such a massive harvest now and we're looking a little bit healthier so what we're going to do is we're going to speed through until tomorrow morning. 
feeding our BGA. We've got we've done the sugar, so I'm happy with that. We've done all that we can. Oh, all that is close. Right, let's stick that back. That's actually not bad. That will do. Fantastic. Right, so then, lorry. Now we have done that, that's the point. Did we get the slurry out of here? Yeah, we did. And we've done the milk. And the food is totally topped, as is the water. So that's that's fantastic. So it really is feeding. Now this is from the new one, if I remember rightly. The others have got some, but now nah, that's the point. Is there any straw left in here? Do we need to be shifting some straw? 18 tons. I think we can... There's still some wheat in there. But I think we had 40 tons worth of flour for now. So I think that's more than enough to get us through till tomorrow. Right, so we need to be going to the new place, grabbing that. Yeah, because it says 108 tons though, I seriously think we'll probably have to go right the way through to the end on this one. So I would time lapse it, but I just see that's a little unnecessary. Oh, no, it's 383 tonnes. That's 383 litres. 383 tonnes would be quite impressive. In a 108 tonne tipper. Or body trailer. Right, so now then, this is true. This is the one thing I did say. This would be tight. Please ignore the cows. Those gates are short. This, this, it just goes like, yeah, they a reflection from somewhere. Right, okay, so we'll get this put in, then speed us through till dinner, and then I would imagine we should be able to tip what's left of this to top that up, and then we'll come and grab another 108 tons at tea time, and hope that the tip, the tick up of the bread, our dairy, and the energy business will take us to enough to actually... What is on special as well? And please don't tell me it's a sugar beet harvester. No, please don't. Do you love this? It's fantastic. It's nice to have a lorry as well. I do actually like the year. Uh, it's a nice lorry, the yams. Right, smashing. Sorted. Yes, this will make me happier if we can get to tomorrow morning. I think I, this is a short session, though I am only trying to get us to till I feel that we escape from the stupidity of someone who had... I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm loving the fact that we bought so much, including that fantastic 9-metre cedar. But, and the tractor. Yeah, it's, that did not escape my notice. It's a fantastic tractor. But the timing of that could not be, yeah, we've left ourselves in a very precarious, or I have left us in a very precarious position. I am feeling a little bit better though with having that money bought back that we have been moaning about, or I've been moaning about for quite a few sessions, so, yeah. Otherwise, no, I think, we, to be honest, I still swear we would still be alright. I know there's going to be a tiny bit of a loan as well, right, let's speed time up to dinner. That's actually, we've nearly filled that. Right. Let's go to 12-ish. Let's keep tapping that up though so it doesn't get terribly low. In fact, the mess will just crack on. 64. Another tick up. It's 75, so it is about 11, so yeah, it's quite amazing where our tickets are going now. That should be quite a bit this time. Now that is looking really good. This is what I was saying. This is, this shows us really the, the way that our buying power, how much our productions have changed our life, yeah, the way that we have obviously gone. Right, let's knock that down. Yeah, 
let's put the rest of that in and we should top this up ready for morning but I, I'm yeah I'm thinking decidedly in a better place already it does emphasize though exactly how far we have come that we went to well 40 odd thousand 80 odd grand of teacups and then let's go through the night if we top this up in fact, you know, for once, should we do what I did on a yeah, few Let's Plays? I think we should go through the night, because uh, if you use this BJ as you would do, which is speeding and topping it up regularly, then to be honest, your top ups are phenomenal. Because if you do this straight through the night, it runs out halfway through the night. So for once, because we were in such a precarious position, I am going to do this properly. We're going to switch our lights on and we're going to whiz through the night. Yes, I'm going to pull an all-nighter. I am. Now then, how are we doing? Over here. Let's see. Flower 47 tons, so that is still going nicely. And it's increasing, obviously, until it runs out of the rest of that. Now we have got 60 odd tons I believe in our main silo and I haven't forgotten 69, 17, 52 but they will have to wait. It's just data. It is. So there's, they've not gone dark or anything like that. Right so 19 tons of slurry over the day. Where is it? should be at the top. Mr. Smith. 20 tons of milk. 61 tons of wheat that we still have got ready to make into flour. So, yes, we are going to literally speed time up and we're going to go through the night. I apologise for dragging you through the night, but this is just to show really for once how amazing this is if you feed it. I did this on Rombos uh, just to try to process every single bit of. Um, so we had hundreds of thousands of. No, we had hundreds of, no, a lot of tonnage. It was actually thousands of tons. It was, yeah, well over something like four million. Was it four million? I think it was actually. It was just an astronomical amount. We had three BGAs, three of these. Right, let's speed this up and switch our lights on because it is soon going to go dark. So I apologise for dragging you through, it's soon going to get dark now. Yeah, light levels are beginning to get dusky. Yep, yeah, that's not far off right for September. Wow, tickle. Did another one just before. About ten ish, I reckon. Another one at about eleven. Look at that tickle. Just look at our wow. This also would accentuate if we'd left it without topping up exactly when it would have run out, which would be about 12 o'clock at night, I would have thought. What are we leasing? That is a good question, Mr. Smith. What are we leasing? Oh, well, that's right, we are. Yeah, let's purchase it. Yes. Now we are now out. And it's only two. Now that's with 108 tons. Still got some in at the minute. So let's go and top that up. So we would have, well actually we would have run up. Because we just put another 108 tons in that. So yeah. Whatever we've done, we've fed that. And it's also devoured 108 tons by half past two in the morning so that means it would have run out probably about 10 11 o'clock which just goes to show that we're not using them optimally but I don't think that anybody is going to pull an all-nighter every single night 
I suppose we could pay one of our workers to do this, but, but you know. I don't like dragging you through this, but it's a means to an end. And also, just to show you that if you were to use this, that BGA properly, that monster. Yeah, I mean, its bigger brother is even more monstrous, but this is an absolutely amazing, yeah, by Disturbed Tech. Highly recommend this BGA. So I would imagine, if that's true, that we will probably devour this 108 tons probably by 8 or 9 o'clock in the morning. Which is quite tremendous. But we shall see whether that is true or not. This is a guesstimate, and this is me that's guesstimating this, so yeah, we shall see. Now then, I would imagine our digest state is going through the roof. I did see that vulture, one of my favourite tractors in the sails, when I accidentally, well, went through that for seeing the leasing. And I almost forgot where I was going then. Almost. Well, I was feeling somewhat upset. Now I'm beginning to feel a little bit more relaxed. Yeah, I think we'll both pay our loan off, our bridging loan, and also these. Yeah, we'll see which one is the best. Right, so let's speed up again. Let's put that straight to 360, and we should take this straight through till 8 o'clock ish. Now that is just energy tick up, so I would imagine we've probably run out of flour or something, or sugar, to make our bread. Seven. We should stop this eight. I don't want to go any further than that. We have got a lot of work to do today. Right. So, 200, and let's switch our lights off now. 286,364 and we've hit the ground running we shall yeah I'm going to I'm going to assist the yes myself the future myself who's going to do the next session we are going to get the animals done at the very least we shall uh, do we worry about the slurry well I'm not sure what the limit is on this but if I remember rightly I'm sure it's quite astronomical I'm sure it is Out of 300,000, 58,000, so it's not going to hurt. 39 tons of milk. We do need to top all that. Let's go grab another 70 tons. And we should do the water. What we will do though is also go grab the harvester and bring that down. And we are going to need all of our trailers, and I mean every last one. Our two seventy tonners, the hundred and eight tonner as well. Yeah, I think we'd stick that silage into the main silo. Ooh, we've got shake, wreck, and roll. To scare me when it does that. Yes. Right. Yeah, we shall take the two seventy tonners. Oh, that's a point. I'm not going to get rid of sense tools, am I? Oh well. I would imagine we can probably get about sense tools out of all the little oddments that we've tipped into that uh, silage over the months. Well, I do feel a lot happier now. 
I think we will ask. Yeah, I think we'll ask the shop to deliver it to the fields rather than us drive it through the village because it is a little bit precarious. And obviously, we are paying them for the service, so yes, it's not too bad. No, that's not. Whoa, 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 whoa. Brakes. Now then. Yeah, I knew I was going to do that. Says as he does the same again. We should do this now. Ish. Right, okay, water. Let's get that put in. Should get the uh, harvester. It's true. I don't know how I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Are we gonna, ah, no. We'll have it actually delivered to our field here. We'll run it down the road. Ah. Quite. Quite close enough. Actually, we'll have the thing delivered into this, the old yard, I think. And we shall stick that 108 tonner, get these ready. In fact, yeah, we're going to need to clear a bit of space on the field before we take the, uh, all of the trailers over, so... I think it's the dearer ones, isn't it? Which is... Uh, no, the one above. Beat technology. I think it's the Tiger 6S, isn't it? That's the one that's got the... Is it the 6 meter? How much to lease? That's not too bad, actually. Let's have a look, though. What have we got in the sales? I know I'm not... 
for one minute suggesting yet yeah, is the Voltra. Now I think I said last time tractors we have enough we do truly I do like that that seems to be cropping up on almost every let's play but being as I am trying to do runarounds have I got anything in my arsenal that's like that I don't think I have have I vehicle wise so that would actually do on this let's play as a runaround we can afford that do you know I'm going to go for this one? No, it's it's this is Great Britain. It would want that. It would. And we're going to go yes, yes we are, and we're going to go for 140. Go for the big engine and all terrain and spare wheel. Yes, and main colour. Now then, this is. No, I've already had a crimson red one on one of the other Let's Plays. Not a big fan of. I've got had a purple one. Oh no, that's a bit painful. I know. Let's go for like Voltry type. Oh, that again. Do you know, Mr. Smith? Concentrate, please. Yes, and we want dark blue. I'm trying to go for. New Holland, yes. We will indeed buy you for 15,000. And we are going to move you out of the way so that you don't get... Oh no, actually, it works quite well with that there. It does. Right, so then, leasing now. I want to go look at the headers first for Sugar Beet. Technology. I want the big one for... Oh, it's three metre. I was going to say it's six metre. It's not saying that at all. I could have done that little tiny one. There's a point. I could do that. It's a metre, isn't it? I think all it does is dig out the ground. If we're going to do this, why not send a team of as many tractors as we've got with pulling one of these... Because I'm a massive fan of let's buy, you know, let's do, let's buy one to begin with. We'll just just have a bit of a play. Yes. Right. So we need tractors with narrows, which is, which is not you. We have the 175 over here, which is very fitting that this is the very first tractor that we should. Yeah, do this. Now, obviously, it's just going to spin them on the ground, isn't it? I do realise that. I'm not worried about that. This is just proof of concept. That we can do this. Because if we can, we are going to set as many. The Zetas. That's a true. What is the horsepower requirement for that? I would have thought that was really teeny weeny. So we could actually get the Zetas. It's so good that it hasn't got a horsepower requirement on it. So that is how amazing that is. Right, now then, I don't. I think I've got normals on, because if I remember right, this has not got nice narrows. Although, did I buy another set that was nice? I may have done. Now then, I think, I can't see which is the right end. I'll say it's this one. It's like half a meter width, so oh no, it's not. It just unfolds, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it does unfold to about half a meter. You were pretty much right last yeah when you said half a meter ish. So I would say this is going to take some time. But if we get an army of th three or four of them, he says an army. Well, you know what I mean. Right, so repair, customize. We're going to go. To our narrows, which we have. Right. Yes, yeah, so we should set this going first. I just want to see that this is going to work, and if it does, what we shall do is we shall get an army of these going to harvest as many tractors as we can put narrows on, and yeah, we should get them ready for next time. I do like to do things like this, it is obviously amazing. I think I did this on Lone Oak. Yeah, 
I didn't have an army though. Right, I just left a worker trundling, which is a bit soul destroying for anyone to have to do a job of that sort of calibre. But yeah, I think most farm labourers would be happy if you did this with an army of them. Well, again, when I say an army, I don't really mean right, so we have to switch that on. That's So this is just the horn topper. Oh. Okay. I thought it had done so well. Right, okay. Let's let's not yeah, let's now let's do this properly now that we've had a play at this. Right, let's Very excited. Now, if I remember rightly, the panther does that anyway on top of it, so. Do you know? Oh, oh. Yeah, that's the excitement over. Right. right let's try that again then. So excited about that. I really didn't. Yes, it didn't say, did it? Now that does. I think that's got like a three point something. So the four meter is is the best, then, isn't it? I think. How much to hire the row per? Two point seven is four. The creamy. That's a horn topper. I see what threw me is the mini sugar beet harvester. Yeah, that that's what threw me really. It did. I thought that was literally harvesting. Yeah, I did. Right, okay, my bad. Beet technology. Yeah. So we want to lease you. Hang on a minute. No, I think I'm not thinking okay, this is not this one. We have got it's the yeah, forage harvest ahead of that is what it was. I'm thinking on this. Yeah, it is. It's true. Right. Yep. Honest, we will get on with this. Right, B technology. Roper. Lease. Yes. And harvester. Lease. Right, we should get that over to the field and next session. Right, we shall get the job done. Do got this. Yes. should just make a path into the field and that will be my assistance given to the future Mr. Smith. Now that is going to be a tad... It is going to be a little tight. Yeah, we would have taken half of the hedge out, but... Yeah. that the way we're passing has quite a wide headland. We may have to wait for the traffic to clear. Have we left the gates open? We have. Have we got a lucky break to get in the field?
I know I'm unfolding it. Yes, this is just the warm topping as well, doesn't it? It's quite amazing, this one. That is a point. How are we going to... I think we're going to have to reverse backwards. Do a few lines to get into this field. Whoa, that's... Yeah, well done, Mr. Smith. One car, I do apologise. Insurance details are being sent to you as we... Whoa, now then, hold on. I don't want any more insurance jobs. Thank you very much today. See you go your way, please. And insurance details have been sent to the first car. So it was entirely my fault. Right. Yeah, nice. Right. Last time I did this was on... Pacho, which I had the Rexa, it was a contract, which has got the tiniest little, I think it's two and three quarter meters, this has at least got that extra, yeah, this is the big header, if you can call four meters big, yeah, if this was a cedar, I'd call it tiny, so, yeah, alright, let's just, let's just widen that out, and then that's where we're going to leave it this session. Yeah, I am a lot happier than I was. I did think this would be far worse than it actually has been. Yeah. It does go to emphasise, though, exactly how far we have come and how far. I mean, that, that digest date in December, January is going to absolutely net us an absolute fortune. Not that we need much help. I mean, it's just tremendous where we are. Yeah, it is. Don't, don't lose any of your crop there. It would be nice to have a spinner type harvester though, truthfully. Yeah, I'm surprised no one's released one just yet, but I suppose yeah, there's a lot of... get one of these if we're going to do this as a recurring thing which we will if we're going to obviously need sugar although to be honest I would imagine the sugar from this will keep us in bread for our thing for quite some time but then no oh yeah we could do it for the BGA as well I suppose so I don't suppose it would hurt if we did do right smashing that is where we're going to leave you for the next session one thing I am going to do let's create the course let's help little old me going forwards. Now then, will this cope with having the other tractor on? It sometimes does and sometimes doesn't. Now yeah, we'll do a lot because this is quite... let's do five, generate... yeah, it's still tiny, that's absolutely fine. 53, save, activate, four meters go. Right, smashing, let's get rid of your start, stop. Now, can you self-unload? Ah, that is a point, actually. Yes. Good thinking, Mr. Smith. I do like your thinking. Can you self-unload? You can. Brilliant. Strawsworth? Ah, not really sure. That actually, this needs that activating. So, we'll go with that. So, there we go. We are ready to rock and roll. 230,000. We have, yeah, we've I did at least fertilise this so that we're at uh, top value. They're stones, they're not Mr. Sugarbeet, Mr. Smith. That's you are quite fine. So, 
we have this monster field and it is large I'm very chuffed I thought 55 much of it is 55 is big which just it is a big field so that did prove that it is a great size field I am so chuffed with our progress yeah we should also get 5217 that's a scanned hopefully next session whilst the workers work and I should bring the trailers in so that I can self unload yeah we'll let it clear at least a headland I don't know that it would get that far but yeah we'll, we'll come and assist and on that note now I'm feeling much happier with where we are next session we have a sugar beet harvest we do indeed and I think we're going to get quite a bit from this I would not like to guesstimate because there is a lot of sugar to harvest yeah, now that's a point actually this is true there is a new production that I think I loaded in that is the new sugar beets a modded one it should be one of the last ones I think or does it doesn't always work like that though, does it let's have a look if we can see it industrial bakery midwest productions dairy BGA modern sugar factory it has pretty much double the cycles of a standard in-game so for us would be quite good if we were going to go into sugar in a big way which we could do yeah it's not not for selling really but more for the making of breads because our it is stupendous we could also sell some I would imagine if we're going to do this in grand scale we could easily afford to sell some of our thing although do you know no I'm quite happy with trundling a bit of sugar out. We shall see how well we do and we'll have a look to see how, if we do need the assistance of another one. Yeah, we shall. This is for a future episode. So I am going to say thank you very much for watching. I do hope you're going to continue with me on this journey. And I haven't forgotten. I know we need to do sheds. We will do those during the winter, we shall. And I'm going to say goodbye for now.